Every year in late September, October, the breeze can blow, and I'm forced to remember when I loved him and I lost him. All I got to give. Special Sunday Radio Show. I am your host, Miss Special, here with. Liza, Liza, yes, indeed. Emmy nominated, amazing. So, you were on Just Jam Poetry. How was that? Right. That's incredible. It was an amazing experience. So, we were just talking about that earlier today, actually. Mm -hmm. It was such a pivotal point in my life. It was one of the first, one of the first times that I had that type of type of mm -hmm. event, you know. And uh, it was such a, such an amazing experience. I met some really good people there. People that I've actually formed relationships and that I feel very close and dear to me from that time. So yeah. And then your first album was a mix of Mexican folk music and hip hop influences. Who are your favorite hip hop artist? Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm a big, big fan of Andre. I nice. really, really love Andre's nice. work. I really love Janelle Monae. Mm -hmm. I really sincerely like. I think both of them are very special people. Yeah. But, but I draw from a lot, you know, growing up, because of having older brothers, I was uh, kind of exposed to a lot of hip hop music at a very young age. But I mean, I have a real soft spot for the Wu Tang Clan and just how creative and, you know, they were. They weren't scared, you know, they weren't scared to create this new thing, and I really embraced that from them. And then for the next album, is going to be acoustic, because I'm super excited about because that's like my guilty pleasure. I love acoustic oh, yeah. music. So what made you decide to do all acoustic? You know, I have so many different things that are influencing me from the hip-hop to, you know, these Mexican folk tunes to the Motown music to... You know, I love some uh, what what they call what they would call alternative music mm -hmm. or even electronic music. Mm -hmm. But the acoustic part is something that I just have a desire to express. Mm -hmm. And I have it, it it needs its own form of expression. So it is kind of some of it is kind of hip hop feeling, mm -hmm. but uh, but all of it is kind of, is live music. A lot of the horn, uh, the box drum, like mm -hmm. earlier this evening, and a lot of the guitar uh, on it too. But 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 you know those those instruments they still produce like a very heavy low end mm -hmm. at some point so it, it feels very hip hop inspired still. Oh, very nice. yeah. And then so you write poems and you write music when you, you're writing. How do you choose what's going to be a poem? What's going to be a song? You know what? I try not to get in the way of it. Mm -hmm. I try to let it come as it wants to come and then I kind of try to submit to it. But melodies will come at me often out of nowhere. It kind of wakes me up out of the night, you know, out of sleep sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so I just try to give them their credit. I'll, I'll keep writing. And I'll stay writing just to to keep a record, and I'll come back and maybe reference what I've written to see if it can go into some melodies that I have. But usually, like it's just you know I kind of just feel it and then wait for the for the what I call a scratch track to come, and so I'll have this melody and it's just waiting for the words to fill it. So. But, but, you know, the creative process is one that I can't say that I've necessarily mastered. I just try to be open and, and just allow what happens. Come and gather Sing a joyful song Come and gather round together Oh, oh, sing Leave your fears behind I will leave mine The last song that you performed was amazing and I love the story that you told before it about, you know, what you're going through. So can you tell the people that story again about that song? So, Gather Round is a love song, but it's not just a love song for a man and a woman. It's a love song for, like, your relationship with your mother, with your father, with your beloved, with your brother, with your sister. But it's a, it's a song really urging us to, to come forward and to embrace each other without any fear, mm -hmm. without any hesitation. You know, sometimes, like, we love each other based on fear, maybe too scared, like, mm -hmm. you know, we're letting our fears motivate a lot of what we do. And I came to a point where I was like, man, I don't want fear to be a motivating factor in anything that I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd rather the motivating factor be because I love, because I love to do it, because I'm moved or I'm inspired to do it. So, exactly. yeah, so that's what the song touches on. I love it. It's a very cold song, <laughs> so I'm glad that you love it. Yeah. When can we expect a new album? 
Man, I'm hoping early, early summer. Yeah, so we're, we're tracking all this week. Myself and uh, the percussionist that is with me, Dominic Garcia, he's from Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento, he's a very, very beautifully, like, he's, a, he's so easy to work with. He's very easy going, very nice. Like, yeah, he, he's yeah, very, very yeah, real easy to work with. So we've been tracking for the last week, actually. Yeah. And, um, and we'll probably do some finishing touches in the next couple of weeks and then pack it in and then just trying to figure out how, you know, I'm an independent artist, we're trying to figure out how to distribute that or if it's just going to be available on the website or at live shows, so we're still trying to hone those things down. And then where can people keep up with you at? Um, I'm on Twitter. My Twitter handle is I am Liza Garza, like I am Liza Garza, like I am free, I am hungry, I am Liza Garza. <laughs> And then I have a .com too, LizaGarza.com, and then from there you can follow like the tweets to the Facebook page, and also jewelry. I, I've been designing jewelry for two years now. Yeah, I've been designing jewelry for the last two years now, and it's something that I'm very passionate about. Just, just any type of creativity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's awesome. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so any type of creativity, if it's uh, if it's right and if it's clean and if it's sewing, if it's making earrings, if it's you know dancing. Whatever it is. Thank you. Special Sundays radio show is live every Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. on ksfs.sfsu.edu. And for everything special, check out specialsundays.com.